We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, the Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Our reading today, December 6, Four Secrets to Surviving the Coming Economic Earthquake, Part 1. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. Romans 13, 8. Do you know how much a million dollars is? If we tightly stacked $1,000 bills on top of each other, a million dollars would be four inches high. How about a billion dollars? You'd need a stack 300 feet tall. And how about a trillion dollars? That requires a stack of $1,000 bills 63 miles up into the stratosphere. And how much is our government in debt today? The stack to pay it off would stretch past the International Space Station more than 700 miles into space, and that doesn't include the interest. But if we took all of our indebtedness, public and private, government and personal, Some estimates say we collectively owe up to 95 63-mile-high stacks of $1,000 bills. No wonder debt is a four-letter word in today's society. Is there any hope for you and me? Yes, there is. For the economic earthquake rumbling beneath us right now, there are four vital survival secrets for the chosen. As you worship, ponder them. Secret one, get out of debt. All the wise financial counselors I know are univocal about this one. What kind of debt? All debt. But start with your credit cards. Perform what Dave Ramsey calls a plastectomy. Cut up your plastic. But I pay off my credit cards every month. Ramsey estimates we spend 12 to 18% more using plastic, even when we pay them off monthly. Why? Because nothing slows down spending like counting out the cash. But I already owe a huge credit card balance then begin paying more than the minimum. Credit card companies want you to be indebted for life. Pay off your cards beginning with the lowest balance so you can experience success as soon as possible. Reduce your interest rate. Call the company. They'd rather have your business than lose your payment completely. And talk to someone. Break debt's shame chain. You're not alone. Talking is the first step to help. It was raining, and so I was running on my treadmill, troubled over some circumstances and wondering how it was all going to turn out. Suddenly, two blue jays alighted in the wet tree outside my window. I stared at them as I ran. They hopped to another branch, and both turned my way, as if they wanted me to take a good look a good long look. Do they look worried or anxious? And didn't the Heavenly Father they trust also make me? Then why should I be worried or anxious? Should I not trust Him? For am I not of more value to Him than two little blue jays? This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the chosen.